Hey, how's it going? It's very hot in here right now. And I'm recording in intense heat. Although it's not that bad. But anyway, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. It's me, Iso, and last time we got our first essence of time. Some sort of eternal spirit of sorts. So this time we will be going to the woods in the west, or the west, as it is colloquially known. So we gotta travel through Lino Village in the present. Dang it, I don't like this place. Just kidding. Uh, vanishing, turn to stone without warning. Oh man, it must be Varan's influence. Oh, you look like a dog for some reason. You remind me of like one of those um, terriers or something. I don't know. I'm in Plutton, the mayor here in Lino City. Dog man. Dogman, in a village, not a city. Oh, back in time. There's a treasure chest on top of a ledge. We can't get it. Too bad. All right, so there was a castle up here in the present. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh ho ho! It's little Larry. They moved here. We meet again. You remember me, son? Larry's quite well. Yes. And you? I oh, so it's been too long. I moved to the city too. It's nice to see a familiar face. So, Larry, how you doing? I did not mean to burn you, and I'm going to continue to burn you unless I somehow shield myself from you. Come on, child. Speak to me. Okay, be a jerk, okay? Jeez. Oh, Larry. Sand in the house. And what's over here again? Just a mock tree. Alright. So, something like No. Okay. So, yeah, there was, like, some sort of castle entrance here in the past that is non-existent here in the present. I don't know why that is, but I'm just gonna sort of talk right now and there, 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 there's a weird old man. Ho ho, I am true. In my younger days, I traveled the world and saw many animals. Even at my age, I'm quite dedicated. You show promise in coming to speed. A terrifying monster that eats shields. How frightful. You mean a like like? I have past experience in these matters. I only killed them by the thousands that one time. Remember that? Know it all birds hut. Oh no. Squawk! Bird! What a large shield tactic! Okay, sure, why not? Deflect enemy attacks while pressing the shield button! Oh wow, I did not know that bird. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Parrot. Appreciate the know-how stuff. Okay, so I guess... Check out. And there's some people. There's... There's a guy. He only turns sideways. So, what kind of candy? He's never on time! Chocolate! Isn't that a sweet joke? Oh, no. That joke goes against our aesthetics, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sad music. Little Johnny is frozen in time. What's going on? My grandson has turned his own. How? Why? Wake up, call me grandma again. The woman of many voices. Well, poor Johnny got electrified into stone. We're building a tower on the other side of the river. Wait, it's not done yet? 400 years later? The black tower is still not complete? Are you kidding me? This is impossible. Improbable, likely. Impossible. See, there's a dog that looks exactly like the freaking mayor. Almost. Anyway. I'm Mommy Ann, the top breeder in town. My dog is much cuter than that dog. Much cuter. But my dog is very shy. Do you know of a good way to hide its face? Wow. Okay. Can't interact with Mr. Puppy there, but we're gonna go check out what's in the black tower in the present. Ominous music. Presentation is all about the fact that we probably can go inside and it's blocked off as you probably didn't realize. But yeah, we can't get in the black tower in the present. They've blocked it off because it is a place of great tallness. So anyway, let's continue to the west where there are surely woods. And it looks like we couldn't have gone here anyway. So that was your first glimpse glimpse of the present little village. Symmetry City, Lena City. We don't want to go to Symmetry City yet. Because Symmetry City is not where we're going. Music is weird now. And stones that I can't lift. Trees that are green. Moblins and Octoroks and Moblins and Octoroks. And lots of holes and I just got shot in the face by an arrow. Yep, pretty great. Oh, look, that's our destination, so let's continue on. Look at that ugly water. Oh, man, incredible. Dang you, treasure chest. Why must I sing to the tune of this song? 
It's only slightly, only slightly, not entirely, because singing is against my mantra. Well, I'm not entirely. All right, let's just continue to the west here. Just continue to the west here, and just you know, continue to the west here. And you know, I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Continuing to the east here, and okay, so um, let's go up and let's get confused in a forest in which we are making little progress. Oh no, it's not the Lost Woods, is it? Um, bunny fairies, hello? This is our playground! Won't you play hide and seek? If you can't find the three of us, you can't go on! We'll hide, so try to find us! Ah! 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 Run or not, go find us! So yeah, you better go find those foolish fairies in a forest that is all disgruntled and angry. And I'm confused already. I think there was one here. I looked out and found a place. Oh, blue fairy! Dang, but there are still two more! Man, what teenage voices they have. Jeez, can't you hear that screeching? It's totally not me at all. Uh, oh, and there was, well, there was one here in the treasure chest there, you know what I mean? Yeah, yellow fairy, how do you do? You found me, but the last one is hardest! Hmm. Oh! Hello, there you are. Goodbye. Farewell. Oh, jeez, this was easier than anticipated. Oh, Red Fairy, will you be a nuisance? What? You found us all! You're good, mister! I know I'm good. I'm incredible. Oh, you found us all. Okay, we won't tease you anymore. We'll put the forest back in order. Whoa, forest is now completely normal. <laughs> that was fun. Let's play again sometime. No, I probably won't be able to speak again after this, so... Um, just a normal forest now. Scary fairies. Scary blue fairy, you appear without warning. All right, so after that little mini side quest, ancient cave, beware crumbles easily. Ha! Huh, must be dangerous inside, right? Oh! Congratulations, you just broke a dungeon. You get the essence immediately. Except the mocker tree is kind of like. Ah, I'm upside down. Red trees. I gotta talk to you. I so are you all right? Now you can't get inside. The rock you blasted was a support stone that held up the cave. Too bad Nehru can't give us some advice. Maybe there's something in Nehru's house that can help. Why don't you go look? Well, since we totally broke this dungeon, we should create a shortcut, I guess. Destroy the rubble. So, we can't get inside now. Perhaps we can find a way to lift it out of the ground with our magical boomerang. A.K.A. our magical power bracelet that I call the boomerang, just just for reference. So anyway, let us traverse back into the woods of time, or whatever the heck it's called. What is this called? Forest of time. The forest of time, in which we will speak to Nehru. You know, it's kind of ironic how it's called the forest of time, and that's where Nehru lives, so the forest of time, she's the oracle of ages, and the forest of time, and... and... Oh, I'm not here to talk to you, I'm just here to take a shortcut now. Ah, uh, monkey, bear, rabbit. No one wants to talk to a monkey, bear, rabbit. It's just the grossest thing in existence. Alright. Impa, what's the haps, chubby? Could there be a hidden room somewhere? I have felt drafts from above. From above, you say? Maybe if we lift this thing, it will make itself apparent. Perhaps in the chimney? No, but apparently I can actually go somewhat inside of the chimney. How about in the bed? Nope, nope, nope. How about in this ventilation shaft? Well, well, you know. How about in this ventilation shaft? How about down this ventilation shaft? <gasps> what is this? Why is it so shiny? Why is it blue and red at the same time? Let's touch it. You got the harp of ages. <gasps> Nehru, I am Nehru, Oracle of Ages. You are holding an instrument called the harp of ages. I do not know you, but it is not by mere chance that you now hold that harp. You are a hero chosen by the currents of time. Your arrival means I am not in this age any longer. I hid the harp here, knowing this could happen. I entrust the harp to you. By playing certain tunes on that harp of ages, you can travel through time. Let me teach you the tune of echoes. Whoa, she sure knows how to play a harp good. 
If you play that tune, you will unlock the powers of the time portals found across this land. Step into a time portal to travel through time to another age. As you journey, you may learn more tunes that will let you travel through time more freely when you play them. Please, chosen hero, protect this land from the clutches of evil. I am counting on you, unknown hero. Oh man, and magically I can play a harp good too. It's the Echo Tune! It will awaken sleeping time portals. Hmm, quite a nice message Nehru left somehow with her holograms and this day and age. Tech savvy Nehru, dang. So now, uh, the Maka Tree wishes to converse with us in a most inconvenient manner with her upside down red trees again. Okay. I so, that's the harp of ages. Maybe you can use it to open time portals and sail through time. The cave has crumbled in this age. Perhaps in the past you could find a way in. Man, Makatree, you certainly are excited. Maybe I can become as excited by playing this harp of ages. Oh yeah. Whoa, now this portal has opened. Perhaps you can travel into the past at will. We are now in the past. Hey, we remember this place. We remember this place. So, now that we're in the past, let's head to that cave. That is probably not crumbled. That since it's like, not a week after 400 years of just sitting there. I mean, the cave's family lasts 400 years before they start to collapse, and the Scotia tree is gone. Let's see what we get inside. Here you go, ring! Yeah. Explosions happen sometimes. Gotta be wary of that. Alright, so now we are in the western wood area down here. Why are there dead trees in the past? No, seriously, what is up with that? What the heck kind of sick world do we live in? There's a cave here? This cave, I'm just gonna go inside, just see what the heck's in here, I don't remember. More land bridges, and there's a piece of heart, but I'm gonna slash that little dude, and then I'm gonna try and see if I can get that piece of heart, that appears to be our wedge that I appear to be unable to get on cave, so this is an entire waste of time. Glad to know. Hello, little doggy. Jeez, hang on. It's hot in here. <laughs> I'm bacon. I'm literally bacon. Hello, Granny. Can we talk to you? Will you give me some sort of sponge bath with your brain? My husband gave Queen Amby that which pleases her, but he was still taken to work on the Black Tower. I want him back. Well, I'm sorry he cheated on you. Well, hello, Amby's bombs have tremendous power. You're a guard. You wear blue garb because that is the this is an old man. Somewhere in the woods is a tree that bears very special scenes. Hmm. Oh ho, here is the cave, but it appears to be locked up with a broken door, aka wall. I'm looking at this cave, I can't even explain gender this thing. I don't have a mustache and long hair and a dress. Uh, I'm looking at this cave, I'm gonna stretch inside. Well, I can't get it much as I don't care. I can just blast it away. Blast it, we must find some sort of bomb. Hello, Mr. Fishlips. I'm gonna find something that Queen Amy desires, so I'm going to work in the tower. Alright, keep in the woods of magical seeds and owl stature, women choose a place to stash your rules the first time I saw the start. But that owl is fine to me, I'm not supposed to go into the woods, I'm not going to go into the woods. you know, if you talk a little bit too much for your age, you probably want to stop reading books. What did the queen want? Puzzle seeds? Enigma seeds? It's a mystery to me. So, the queen wants some sort of seed. And you, sir? Are you also searching for that which Amby desires? You should not go further. There are hordes of terrible beasts! Everyone's British back in time. Alright, so... Hordes of terrible beasts I can handle. Hordes of unimaginable horrors I cannot imagine what sort of world we live in. So what's in this hole? I'm assuming there's a hole. Because I burnt it and there was a hole. Oh, is this the upper level in which we will get a piece of lovely heart? And there's a bat resting right on it. Ah, I'm covered in mini dogs! Ah, you got a piece of heart! Get off me, you little doggers! Get off, oh no! Get a freaking ostrich oh, sh sh oh, breath! Oh, uh, excuse me. While I go back up these stairs, calmly. Yeah! Oh, Alright, so. It's very warm in here. I'm very kooky and crazy, but it's time. It's because time limit is happening, and, and I, I must leave now in this. Beautiful forest of time of some sort of what's it called? Deku Forest. Okay, it's a Deku Forest. Adios. Have a nice day, everyone. Hope you eat supper. Bye. Grocery shopping. Yay.